this video is going to show you how to install fast deploy and then how to serve an ai model with the help of it fast deploy is an advanced inference and deployment toolkit developed by baidu which is also called as google of china this fast deploy is known for efficiently serving large language models and vision language models in production environments this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel we already have covered a lot of inference engines like sglang vllm and heaps of other so it will be quite interesting to see how exactly fast deploy performs i'm also going to do another video very soon where we will compare all of these serving engines on different benchmarks but for the purpose of this video let's focus on the local installation of this fast deploy and how can we do the deployment and serving of the model by the way this fast deploy is designed for high performance and scalability and it supports a wide range of quantization formats and hardware platforms including nvidia gpus ascend npus and xpus from a chinese company it also offers cutting edge acceleration techniques like speculative decoding multi-token prediction and chunked prefill while also enabling distributed deployment through load balanced disaggregation and unified kv cache transmission over nvlink or rdma if you don't know what exactly this means don't worry i'm going to explain these terms in very simple language as we progress in the video but for the now let's get it installed i'm going to use this ubuntu system i have one gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gb of vram let me start by creating a virtual environment with conda and if you're also looking to rent a gpu or vm or cpu on very affordable price you can find the link to mass compute in videos description with a discount coupon code of 50 percent for range of gpus now let's go back to our terminal and clear the screen one prerequisite which you need to have is the docker installed i have this recent version of docker installed if you don't have it and if you don't know how to install it just search my channel i have done a very simple to follow video so you can see that i am pulling the latest docker image of this fast deploy so let's wait for it to get downloaded and it is going to download all of these layers and then it is going to um, set it up so let's wait for it while that happens let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation and one thing i can tell you right off the bat that it is quite a big serving engine by the way anyway let's wait for it to get downloaded meanwhile let me uh, talk a bit more about the concepts which i mentioned earlier around the key features so first up i mentioned speculative decoding so i'll try to explain it in a very simple word so i don't i don't expect you to be a machine learning guru so speculative decoding is like a smart guess and check system for speeding up text generation so what happens is the model predicts several words ahead speculatively then checks if those guesses are correct if they are it saves time instead of generating one word at a time if not well you know and then we have multi-token prediction or mtp so normally model predicts one token at a time mtp allows the model to predict multiple tokens in one go like writing a whole phrase instead of just one word that primarily makes inference faster chunked prefill is quite an interesting um, concept so before generating text the model needs to process the input prompt or prefill for long prompts this can be slow chunked prefill breaks the input into smaller parts and processes them in parallel or more efficiently that speeds up the preparation step so very very important step by the way now load balanced disaggregation means that in large scale setups models model tasks like attention decoding and all that stuff can be split across multiple nodes disaggregation means sep separating these parts and running them on different servers load balancing ensures each server gets just the right amount of work not too much not too little and that 
of course improves performance and stability it also has this something called as unified kv cache transmission over nv link and rdma as i mentioned earlier so what happened is that when generating long responses the model stores memory or key value cache to avoid redoing calculation fast deploy makes this memory shareable across gpu or servers it uses nv link which is a very super fast gpu to gpu connection or it could be rdma which is a fast server to server memory access to move that memory quickly keeping generation smooth and fast but this is a very active area of research because uh, memory you know this movement of data is a sin when it comes to gpu computing because gpus are fast matrix multiplication is quite fast but when you move data that is you know slow as compared to that matrix multiplication so this is something everyone is working very hard to uh, try out but the thing is that there are physical limitations and a fun fact is that since 2000 i would say the advancements in this memory technology has slowed down but i digress anyway let's go back to our terminal and see what is happening it is still downloading stuff so let's wait and everything is now downloaded and docker image is now installed on our local system you can also check it out so this is what this docker image looks like and now we can test the installation but before that let's quickly install this pedal pedal gpu and open ai through this we are going to check it out and pedal pedal is simply a deep learning framework from china okay so in order to test it first let's run that docker image and we will instantiate it and we have entered into that docker image at the moment and now you can test it by running the following commands which are going to import the pedal pedal and then it is going to uh, check the just in time compiler and all that stuff okay sorry uh, i just needed to run this python i needed to run these commands into this python interpreter and you see that it is imported yep all good that's it you see everything looks good now as you know pedal pedal is imported it is running it, it is also it says that pedal pedal works well on one gpu and it is installed successfully and also the fast deploy is running as you can see here so it looks pretty good to me and you can if you want to you can also exit it like this okay so now we have installed it we have verified the installation and now for the online serving you can simply uh, run this the python 3 fast deploy and we are serving that 0.3 billion earning 4.5 model which is here which was released just yesterday few hours ago in fact and we already have installed it locally as you can see here and we have tested it out there is another vlm version and i will be posting that video very very soon so this earning 4.5 is a latest model from baidu which we are going to serve with the help of this fast deploy inference engine here as you can see and you can see that the first time when you run it it is going to download the model as it is not present at the moment it's a very small model so let's wait for it and there you go now our fast deploy is running within that container and it is serving the model at this local host at port 8180 and if you want to check the vram consumption you can also check it with this nvidia command and it is using close to 25 gig of vram for this model while it gets served okay and then now in order to verify you can run this health um, api endpoint there you go so it says that so it's a http 200 which means that everything looks good and if you want you can use this curl command with the chat completions api which is open a compatible api to ask it uh, from there you go so it has given you a joke in chinese i can only read this emoji i'm not testing the model here we are just testing the fast apply which you can see is working fine and you can use the same functionality in your python script or any other script which can access this uh, local 
endpoint you see that we are just giving it this base url and then if you are serving multiple models you can even specify your model here and because it's a local one you don't have to, have to give any api key and again i'm asking it to write a joke now in english and then it's simple open ai compatible syntax so when you run this it is going to access that and you see that it has given you uh, this here and you can see that it is also giving you some of the instrumentation behind the scene what is happening at the server here so that's it this was how easy it is to serve your model with fast deploy and as i said i'm also going to create a comparison video around this tool and various others if you enjoyed the content please like the video and share it and if you haven't already subscribed please do so as it helps a lot thank you for watching